Welcome to the Clapara Technologies Content Migration Demo. In this demo I will show you our content migration module that can be used to move content to a CMS system. The content can be in another CMS, for example an earlier version or in a different CMS system, but it can also be content that is currently in HTML pages, like I do here. As CMS, Fatwire Content Server is used. In this demo a Kapow robot will simply go to the New York Times website and extract data. This data will be stored in the database. Then the same robot will log in directly to the Fatwire user interface to insert the extracted data. Using an API or programming is not necessary, since the robot just acts like a human user and fills in the content in the CMS. Using the content migration module not only saves time and money, but you also reach a much higher quality of data since you take out the human mistakes uh, because you use a Kapow robot. Uh, the website I'm going to uh, uh, extract data from is the New York Times. So I'm going to make a robot that goes to this page and takes the data out of this page. For that I'm going to uh, show you how to use, uh, I'm going to show you the RoboMaker which is the, the software that you need to create the robots. As you can see, it's a very visible. Uh, what you see is what you get. What you get environment. There's no coding involved, so it's it's uh, just visual steps. The first step in this case is the load page, where you see that I'm just loading exactly the same URL as that I do in the browser. Now, RoboMaker acts like a browser. We have a built-in browser engine, which uh, which enables us also to execute all kinds of JavaScript uh, forms. Uh, click on buttons, all the things that you can all also do as a human user in a in a normal browser. Now, when we've loaded the page into RoboMaker, we can now select areas uh, and data that we want to extract. So, in this case, I'm extracting the title. Here, I'm ex extracting the authors. I'm extracting the summary. I'm extracting the URL of the article, and then I'm clicking on the link to open it up. So if I open it, it goes to the detail, where I load the image, I extract the date, and all this information is going to be stored, eventually it's going to be stored into this model. What you see here is our um, uh, article model that I created just for this demo, because I wanted it to reflect exactly this, the same a model as used inside the Fatwire CMS. So here I'm extracting the body. And then the last step is return the object. So I'm returning the object article, and here I'm returning the object image. So running this will collect uh, all the 10 articles on this home page. But after collecting it, we also want to insert it into the CMS. How does that work? Uh, the next branch is a load page, but this time the load page goes into the CMS that is running here on my local system. And here I'm going to fill in my username and password, click on the login button, and then I can just go through the normal interface where I can click on new article. And then when I insert uh, the title and the description, then I'm just using the data from the model that I just uh, get directly out of the database. Since the data that I've collected has been uh, stored directly in the database, I can now use this database to insert this information. As a category, I'm going to select the category. Wait, it's the next step, I'm sorry. Uh, as the category, I'm going to select imported articles, as you can see here. So, yeah, you see here, if there's an image, I can also upload the image itself, which I'm doing here. So now I've created a new article into the CMS. Actually, it is going to do this for all the items that I have in my database. So imagine you are, you are going to uh, collect 10,000 articles then the system can, um, in a very short time, insert all these 10,000 articles into the CMS. 
Now, when I'm going to run it, then we should, at the end, when it's finished, then we should be able to go into the CMS system. I will start it up at the same time, because now it's currently extracting. But going to this interface, you can see here there's imported articles. This is now going to be filled up with imported data. So it is still running at the moment. Uh, but it should come up now pretty quick. So now you can see there's already four items. So at the moment, as we speak, it is filling in uh, all the articles that I've just extracted from New York Times. And then now it's in the CMS. I can just preview it. And I can actually here go to the category imported articles. And now I will see a list of all the articles that are just inserted into the system. So this is just fresh data coming from New York Times, but now transported into the CMS. When I click on one of the items, then you can see it has all the same uh, paragraphs, the same markup, the same images, the same layout. And now it can be completely managed by the content management system uh, as structured content. So this was my uh, presentation uh, demo. Um, I hope you, uh, you like to watch it, and I thank you for your time.